Well, if you have about 7 grams or 3 grams left over, then we start with finishing off the shot. This is the length. Now we go start with uh, Tunisian knit stitch. I have about 7 grams left over because I have a very small head. For you, please make sure that you leave about 3 grams left over. We start now with about three rows Tunisian knit stitch, like we started with. We started with three rows Tunisian knit stitch, and then we started with the yarn overs in between. So I'll show you what to do. In the first four stitch, you make a Tunisian knit stitch. Well, the first stitch is already done, so three more stitches as knit stitch. So here is the second, officially the second stitch. You make your knit stitch in the third a knit stitch and in the fourth a knit stitch now here you have the yarn over and just handle it like a knit stitch so put your hook between the two legs from the front to the back and pick up the yarn and put it up now here we are in the knit stitch from the previous row and there you make your knit stitch and again the yarn over and you handle it like a knit stitch and here in the knit stitch and you make a knit stitch well continue like this up until the last stitch and the very last stitch in this row is the stitch in the border and there you make your knit stitch underneath the two loops in the edge so you keep on continuing with knit stitches if it is a Tunisian knit stitch or a yarn over in both stitches you make a Tunisian knit stitch up to the last stitch. Is the last four, four knit stitches here's the last one in the border or in the edge how you want to call it and you put your hook underneath the two loops now you take the row off so first through full first loop and then through two and through two and so on and so on up until you have one loop left on the hook and then you make two more rows with Tunisian knit stitch I'm almost there at the end and the last two one here I am got one stitch left now you already see knit stitches in every stitch now you start again with Tunisian knit stitches throughout this row so every v-shaped stitch you see you make your knit stitch into it I will repeat this row two more times and then we have three rows with Tunisian knit stitch. You can see already the V-shaped stitch from the knitting stitch. Well, keep on this, repeating this row up until you have two more rows and then we start attaching the front and the back together. So, I already done the last rows. I've got three rows of Tunisian knit stitch, like the beginning as well. What we will do is We'll see here a different stitch than the stitch that we have here. So with one stitch you will create two different patterns. The, you will see it walks out a bit diagonal. That is not a problem because 
you crochet constantly to the right side off it will go automatically the other way around so it goes diagonally just pull it and spray it a bit wet and let it dry for 48 hours and it is good to go I like it this way so I'll leave it like this so it is up to you if you want to block it or not here we started and here we ended what we'll do is a twist this side one way this way you get a infinity shawl if you don't do it you get a Mobius shawl now we're going to attach the beginning and the end together by slip stitching if you rather want to use a needle please make sure that you do it loosely don't put much tension on it otherwise you will see it I will make one chain first and then I go directly into the first stitch here on the side you see here two loops put your hook underneath the two loops and pick up the beginning you started with and find the first stitch let's see here it is you can put your hook in this is the wrong side officially but just to show you you can put your hook underneath the loop or in the chain itself what what you prefer so if you want to stick your hook in the in the knit stitch that's okay too I will put my hook through the loops I started with so in the beginning it's always just a bit difficult so pick up the loop with your fingers and pull your hook through now here's the second stitch and here's the second loop here's the loop the stitch itself the knit stitch and you can put it in there or you can put it in the loop it is up to you what you want what you rather prefer so sorry it's a bit out of the screen but I will show you a couple of more times so here's the next stitch through the next stitch and here through the loop I rather prefer to put it through the loop because a neater effect so here's the next stitch again put my hook through and I pick up the chain that I started with and find the next one here it is put my hook through pull the loop through and through and finish my slip stitch don't crochet too tight crochet loosely otherwise your work will shrink at this point repeat this and at the end you will cut your yarn and hide the tails please when you use this yarn wash it one time manually and then you can wash it with the washing machine on 30 degrees or low temperature cold rather cold well i wish you all the best of luck and have fun crocheting and i hope to see your creation uh, on the facebook page you can find the link below please do join and show your creations i hope you like it and i hope to see you next time